Yes, tupo nye uzinduzi wa season ingine ya unit talent ya pikiwa ni season ya tano. Tuko na judges, uh, watatueleza msimu huu sofa ukoje na kuna vitu vingi ambavyo pia ni vipia na vingine pia ni, ni vigieni. Karibu, jiri nako. Uh, sante, yes, kama walivo sema, uni msimu mungine mpia wa unit talent season five. Na mwaka huu uh, tunanza mchujo bagamoyo tare thelasini. Alafu tare mbili, tutakua tunafanya makumbusho wa taifa, hapa pa Dar es Salaam. Hii ni season eti ya tano na tunashukuru mungu season ilo pita tulipata vipaji vi, vingi na vipaji, nasema, naza kusema vipaji vipia na vipaji vizuri zaidi kushinda misimu yote ambayo tumefanya yoni talent. Kwa hiyo mwaka huu pia tunatarajia tapata vipaji vingine vikubwa na vipia na katika mtazamo mungine wa, wa kitofauti. Watu wanaelewa sisi juko wale tu alichagua vipaji. Juko wale tu na accommodate vipaji vyote vya wanavyo. Kwa hiyo kama unahisi una kipaji chochote uh, unaona hili ni jukwaa ambalo linakufaa, tunaukaribisha sana na tunaanzia Bagamoyo tarehe 30 tarehe 2 tutakuwa makumbusho ya taifa Dar es Salaam. Kwa nini tunaanza Bagamoyo? Tunaanza Bagamoyo kwa sababu kwanza amekuwa shirika letu wa muda mrefu lakini pia kwa sababu ya nama ambavu tumekua tukifanya siku zote. Tunanzia sehemu ambapo tunajua kabisa pale ni chocha sana. Kwa hiyo, hata vipaji vingi ambavu vikuwa vinatoka kwenye unitalent. Vingi sana vimetoka mbaga moyo. Alafu bade tutafata Dar es Salaam. Yeah. So, um, mashindano haya kwenye upando wa majaji ya tofauti sana mashindano mengine. Tunaona mara nyingi kila mwake na badilika na majaji wana badilika. Mm. Kwa nukumendelo kufanya maintaining majaji wale wale tunamuona lea, tunamuona jinako. Labi wa sejoko makuna mtu mgini atokuwa maungezeka hapo. Wai yumekuwa ino tatibu. Lakini pia hata slogan ya unitalent uwe ye kubadilishu waga. Inakuwaga ni kipaji chako. Kiwanda chako, Kiwanda. kipaji chako. Kwa sababu kiwanda chako, mwujo kwa mwujo ndo kipaji chako. Na hiyo ndo slogan ya mboe na sinama siku zote. Ujue ukiwa tayari una content, haiwezi kwe na shift kila mara. Kwa sababu content ambayo inabeba film ya uh, unit talent show imekuwa ni hiyo kwa sababu hiki ni kitu cha wanavyo umeelewa na tunawatengenezea uh, jukwaa ambalo linakuwa lina linawapa taswira ya kitu gani ambacho wanaenda kukutana nacho mtaani kwa hiyo kiwanda chako ndio ajira akipaje chako ndio kiwanda chako umeelewa kwa hiyo ile nadharia ya kwamba ukitoka laba wendo kapate ajira sehemu fulani ukitoka laba wendo kafanya kitu fulani sehemu mingine tayari mtu anakuwa hana kwa sababu anajua kabisa kitu alichonacho chenyewe kinamtosheleza kuwa kama kiwanda kuongeza majaji wengine tunaona mashindano mengine yanaongeza labda wacha kwa hata wewe guest sina maana nawaharibia kazi nyinyi mdogo um unajua kwenye panel tunakuoga watatu wakazi tule wa haja kuepo lakini kwenye panel tuko watatu na tutaendelea kwa watatu huenda baadaye tukaongeza judges wengine Sawa tuleke kwa Madam Lea. Madam Lea uh, tuliona mwaka jana tumepata mshindi wa kike na ni kitu ambacho pia unajivunia pia kwa mwanamke. Tuambie kuhusiana na safari zawadi ikoje labda. Safari ya nini? Ya safari zawadi. Zawadi kwa mshindi. Aha. Hapana <laughs> inipi shida bwana. No. Well it's the same prices, right? Uh, 10 million kwa mshindi wa kwanza. And uh, we're going to have three winners as usual. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, come away to the last season. It's the same thing. I could not afford to vote. I'm not going to say, Chief Judge. 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 Um, I think ni vizuri uh, kwa wanavyo wote wajua kwa mba hili ni jukua alao na ni jukua mbalo hali wapi limitation ya kitu gani cha kufanya lakini ni vizuri unapo toka kwenye ya mashindano labo kabatika kuwa mshindi ni uh, inapendeza zaidi kwa na kwa mba unachokipata unenda kukiinvest kwenye kitu ambacho uh, kimekupa ushindi kwa sababu 
mara nyingi hiyo ni struggle ya karibia miezi mitatu minne mpaka kuelekea kwenye ushindi. Kwa hiyo utaona hiyo timeline ambayo tayari unakuwa umesha umeshakabiliana nayo katika kipindi hicho and then baadaye labda una, unafika sehemu unapata ushindi. Kwa hiyo ushindi ni vizuri ukaurudisha tena kwenye kitu ambacho kile kusababisha ukapata wa ushindi. kabla ya kabla ya kabla ya, ya kuelekea kwenye uh, final huwa tunafanya kama a mini workshop kabla ya kwenye finali ya kueleza kwamba tunaelekea mwisho tunaenda kwenye finali tukimaliza hapa kuna wengine labda wanamaliza vio wanaenda mtaani kuna ambao wataenda kushinda kwa hiyo wanaweza kushinda wanaweza kupata zawadi zao Uh, lazima uwape elimu ya kitu gani ambacho anataka waenda kufanya kwa sababu sisi watu na deal na sanaa hatukwambii kwamba ukipata hela yako uh, ukafanya vitu vingine ambavyo viko nje ya sanaa sisi tuna deal na sanaa kwa mara nyingi pia elimu tunayotoa inakuwa ni inacheza kwenye maeneo hayo okay sir uh, madam lea labda tuambie kwa safari ikiwa ni season ya tano kitu gani cha special ambacho pia kinakuja labda pia pengine mashabiki watarajie kutoka kwenye uni talent well um, nadhani sasa hivi kwa sababu tuko season 5 I think most of the students right now the participants wameshajua what uni talent is about kwa wameshajua kwamba right now we do not do mediocre yani sisi kama wanavyoona yani vipaji ambavyo wanakuja ni watu ambao wanajielewa and it's always nice to deal with people who are educated you know what I'm saying so I love the fact that washiriki wote wanaokuja they're not there to play games and they know and uni talent right now our reputation our reputation right now iko sawa hatuzingui zawadi zao wanapewa and we also groom them we also educate them even after kuna wasanii kama Evans he's a magician kuna Tasiana i think most people nafikiria kama watu nawaacha hatuwaachi mimi kama mimi binafsi on the outside i hold them kama so la networking kama ni swala kutoa msaada i do it you know so i would like to encourage wanafunzi wasiogope kwamba ah nitafika pale alafu itaisha pale no we do the best that we can tunawasaidia hata jinako all the time all the time so one thing nataka ku encourage anybody that feels an a talent asiogope kuja as long as ye yeah, yuko ni mwanafunzi wa chuo yani asiogope kuja because we we are there to kisa za kusaidia wanasema ngeweza ku there's a saying so you can not you can't force a cow to drink milk or whatever water from the unaweza kumpeleka ngombe kwa the saying unaweza kumpeleka ngombe kisimani lakini usimlazimishe kunywa maji so we are there to help but we're not going to force you you get ivo to So, mm. so uh, atasuba atasuba mm. bagamoyo alafu tarehe mbili makumbusho ya taifa right okay, sa, sa, kabla sijamaliza kuna swali nilikuuliza ukalijibu kuhusiana na hiyo slogan umesema uh, slogan yenu imebaki kuwa ile ile mm. kwa kauo kwenye slogan yenu na uenda ikawa inagongana kama sijakosea ya madam Rita ya BSS sababu nyinyi wana wana slogan kwamba kipaji chako utaji wako kama sikosei nyinyi mnasema kipaji chako kiwanda chako na wao umetangulia kuanza kiwanda chako mtaji wako kipaji chako kiwanda chako wale kule wanasema kipaji chako mtaji wako kama sijakosea nyinyi ndomana kwa sababu wale washaanza iwa push labda kusema tubadili au ah uh, ndio maana niliendelea ku, 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 kuelekeza kutoka mwanzo kwamba tunachokifanya sisi hakiezi kuwa kina shift kwa sababu tunaamini katika slogan ambayo tunatumia na siku zote tutaendelea kutumia slogan hiyo kwa sababu sisi tunachokifanya ni kama daraja kwa wanavyuo eh, kiwanda chako ni kipaji chako kwa kipaji chako ndio kiwanda chako siku zote tunaamini hivyo kwa hiyo kama sisi ni daraja hatuwezi kuwa tuna shift slogan umeelewa na sababu tunachokifanya sisi ni kupandikiza mizizi ya siku zote kwamba ukitoka hapa ujiamini kwamba unaweza kwenda kufanya chochote bila kuajiriwa umeelewa wewe mwenyewe unaweza kuwa ni kiwanda tosha 
Sawa so, hapo hapo. Yeah. Uh, umesema mnawasaidia. Madam Lea anasema muwa mnawasaidia wasanii ambao yeah. wanashindi wakitoka hapo na vitu vya namna hiyo. Yeah. Baba wengine tungechegemea labda akimwona jina yako anasema naweza labda ngapata collab na Diamond au na nini mbona jina yako mwenyewe anafanya collab. Lakini pia nimesikia kuna challenge. Wakitoka wanafunzi shule unakuta wanafunzi anasomea engineering mm. au anasoma banking. Mm. Alitoka hapo aenda kujilio mambo anaenda kujilio banki huko si ndio au anaenda mm. kusoma kujilio kwenye engineer. Mm. Kitu ambacho tunajua inakuwa sometimes ngumu kwenye kipaji na kwenda kujendeleza kipaji. Mm. Hiyo challenge mmekuwa mnaiona mnafanyaje kwa sababu yule mtoto naye mzazi wake anataka awe anapata kitu lakini yeye mnawish endelee na kipaji chake apate zaidi. Ah uh, sisi always tumekuwa tunawish uh, kama slogan ninavyosema kipaji chako ndio kiwanda chako kiwanda chako ndio kipaji chako sio kwa hiyo mara nyingi tu tumekuwa tunawishi kwamba wakitoka kwenye kwenye ni talent wakaendeleze vipaji vao na washindi wanapopata ile zawadi wakaitumia kuinvest tena kwenye kwenye kitu ambacho kwenye kwenye kiwanda chao ambacho ni kiwanda cha ubunifu umeelewa Um, kama nimejibu swali lako sasa wanapoajiriwa unakuta mtu kaajiriwa njombe huko sasa hiyo inakuwa hiyo tena inakuwa tena hiyo so swala letu unaelewa kwa sababu mwisho wa siku maamuzi ya, ya, ya mtu ni ni yeye mwenyewe yeah. okay sasa ile nguvu yenu au leo ulikuwa na kitu cha kuongezea yeah Adisha. i believe there are many factors involved you know yani we, we cannot we, as, as as judges or as as uni talent cannot sit and decide oh we need you to become an artist because you're a dancer we want you to dance you know sometimes kuna factors nyingi kuna society kuna familia mm. kuna mwingine baba yake anataka kuawe daktari lakini daktari ambaye anajua kuimba sana so sa nyingine familia kuna factors nyingi so i don't think we as our job as uni talent is to just akija pale we are grooming we're nurturing that talent mm -hmm. what they decide to do kama kiamua ku stick na your talent that is where we can come in mm -hmm. right but if they're deciding to take the career as a doctor or an engineer or as a lawyer i think that's up to them you know we can, i don't think we can play much role in that Definitely. yeah ji mna, mna, mna limit pia kwenye vipaji uh, at limit vipaji na mara zote uh, tumekuwa tunaruhusu kila kipaji kijitokeze umeona kuna magicians umeona kuna watu wanacheza violin kuna watu walikuja wanakokotoa hesabu ile mbaya walikuwepo na chenyewe pia ana kipaji kwa hiyo asia to limit at limit mtu yeyote mwenye kipaji chochote mwanachuo wana viewo wote wanakuwa ni moja tu mm. lazima uwe mwanafunzi wa chuo yes. <laughs> that is you know, a unit talent, unit talent we want to deal with yes. intellect it's yeah. easy to deal with people who are educated right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um tunaendelea kwa sisitiza wana viewer wasiogope. Ile ni jukwaa lao sisi tuko free kama judges sio wale judges ambao watakufurumusha au watakufanya nini yani tuko free tutakuelekeza kitu gani unafanya na most of the time pia uh, wa, wana viewer ambao wanakuja kwenye majukwaa yetu tukikuona una kitu cha kipekee huwa kuna nama tunakufanya ujiamini na uweze ku present kitu chako na wengi wana, wana, wanafika sehemu nzuri. Kwa hiyo hili ni kwa lao wakaribie sana tarehe 30 tasuba na tarehe mbili tutakuwa makumbusho ya taifa. Okay. Labda madam Lea kwa kumalizia watoto wa kike huwa wanakuwa wazito kidogo kushiriki sana kwenye mashindano kama neno lako. Ah, I think sasa hivi dunia imebadilika I say even for Tanzania. Oh my goodness. And honestly, I could say maybe season 2 lakini from the last season season 4 ah wanako walikuwa wengi na tulivyo tazunguka miko yani dancers wengi and they have so much confidence unajua i think pia yani wazazi sasa hivi pia wamekuwa light kidogo mimi zile mambo ya tradition hamna tena washiriki wa kike wapo and they are so good and so talented yeah Sense. yeah carry my story live Bonyeza hapa kusubscribe na bonyeza hapa kwenye alama ya kengele ili usipitwe na video mpya kila inapoekwa